What's happening creatures? Tim Kreitz here, Tim Kreitz Adventures. Today, Cliff and I are in New Mexico, southeastern New Mexico to be exact. We're looking for a ghost town, a place called Bennett. I think you'll enjoy this episode, so stick around. to Texas ghost towns, it's really easy to find information on their history. Less so with New Mexico, I've found. I don't really know anything about this ghost town except that it's called Bennett. It was once an oil and gas work camp town, much like Frankel City. If you guys remember Frankel City, Texas ghost town. Uh, this place on Google Earth looks pretty damn creepy and <laughs> I'm actually slightly apprehensive about going out here, but I am very curious and we're almost there, so we're certainly not turning back now. Okay, this place is weird. This place is real weird. There's a bunch of old house foundations. bunch of old ruins. Well, there's at least one guy with a tractor in Bennett, New Mexico. Yeah. I think this is it. I think this is it. There's stuff over there. I see buildings. I see a bunch of old foundations and stuff here. I wonder if we can go over there. I guess we'll just have to look. I see a, I see a fence, I think. All right. GPS says that the coordinate you gave me is like two tenths of a mile, but this is basically it. Strange place, man. This is just like Frankel City. All right. Le Spoon. Le spoon. Man, that's a that's a high quality spoon right there. I don't think it's silver, but I'll definitely keep it. All kinds of remnants. Look at the plates. Yeah. Kitchenware. So you got the road. Yeah, this was the street. Curb, sidewalk, paved driveway. Wow. This was wow. not uh, this was not just a thrown together man camp. This was well thought out. That was probably the extent of the fire department right there. <laughs> I don't know. There might be another one. Yeah. Where's that clothes one? Oh yeah. I bet a lot of people today don't even know what that what that was for. <laughs> What's this thing? It's a clothesline. What's a clothesline? I bet you there's another one. Well, shall we go to Chow, New Mexico and get something to drink and check out the strange park they have there? Okay. This is destroyed. Oh. I gotta go. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna pay for this, but then I'm gonna go exchange it because I just noticed that this one apparently 
uh, survived an IED attack, I'm going to say. I'm going to leave this one. 99. That one's messed up too. Did the coke truck turn over or something on the way here? Golly! <laughs> There's you a couple more. They're bad. Goodness. Thank you. You bet. Well, you be, you All right. I'll be careful. You be careful too. Good luck to you. That's what we call chatting up the locals. But he's technically not a local. <laughs> I th here to make some money. He, he, yeah, he, it's exactly what he said. I'm going to make some money and I'm getting the hell out of here. Can't say I blame him. He's from San Antonio. Uh, that's, uh... Did you get any idea what this part of the world would look like oh. if they didn't have petroleum under Oh the my gosh, it, there would be nobody here. There would be there'd nobody be in some, Midland, Odessa if it wasn't yeah, for petroleum. There'd be, some, there'd be a few goat herders and that's about it. Uh -huh. Nomads and hermits and antisocial people, which I'm sure there probably is a modicum of that anyway here. Yeah. Well, 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 Jowl, New Mexico, what an enthralling place. <laughs> It's not so bad. I've been to worse places, I'll tell you that. I was just happy to find another ghost town within, you know, 100 miles or so of where I live. I had to leave Texas to do it, but that's all right. I don't leave Texas often, but when I do, it's usually to make one of these silly videos. Until I make the next one, you guys take care of yourselves, take care of one another, and may the night find thee everywhere at home. Bye. <laughs>